making a stand to support uh, patients with leg amputations so that they can stand up while they're getting casted for a custom fitting prosthetic. We have a casting stand that's designed to allow patients to stand um, for approximately 10 to 15 minutes while they're having a casting performed. These are usually patients that have had a leg amputation, so they're traditionally very weak while having the casting done. So the stand is just designed to support them during that time. So our machine is based on a, an exercise machine, which we modified to make it adjustable in both height and width. And so we used steel bars to make it adjustable. And as you can see, you just lift it and you can just guide it down the track and it goes right through. And then we have the same sort of mechanism for the arm rails where you just move it across the bars and just put it back in. Another adjustment that we had to make to allow this machine to be usable in the clinic that it was made for is we had to add wheels to make it portable because there are a lot of different rooms in the hangar clinic where, uh, which our client was, and so they wanted to be able to use it in all the rooms that they had. As a freshman, uh, you face a lot of introductory classes, and some freshmen don't get to see engineering design firsthand, but we got to build something and create a real life uh, solution to a real problem and that was a unique experience. It was crazy. I had never used power tools before. That was just me. We had some more experienced members in the group, but uh, for this class, you don't have to have any prior engineering experience. So I was learning stuff for the first time and we just like dived right into making wood prototypes with drills and um, all sorts of power tools and then going into metalworking. Um, it was really exciting. Like I learned a ton of just good, like building experience from the boss.